String lights can bring great character to a backyard, and today we're going to install a set. Today we're going to install string lights. We're going to do a support cable because of the length between the posts, and we're going to show you how to install it all. This is the kit we got off Amazon. It came with the cable, eyelets, some um, eyelet screws, some springs, and no instructions. So this is definitely a 100% DIY figure it out yourself kit. Um, the price was right though. And uh, we also got these LED lights off of Amazon as well. And uh, opening up the first box, they're super heavy duty. So, and they did have instructions. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera on and show you how to put it up. We're gonna run our eyelets about six inches down from the top. And just a trick, when you get it started, just take your pliers Hook it in the eyelet and then just start turning and let it feed itself in and you don't have to do it all by hand. I'm going to go ahead because we're in a little bit of a windy area. Sink that all the way. Okay, so the, for the first uh, connection, what we're going to do, this is an ADA link. Um, it's all used on chains, but uh, they, they sent it with the kit, so we're going to use it for that. And then we have a crimp, cable crimp that they also sent. So what you're going to do is take your cable, go through one side of the crimp, you can double that back, which helps, okay good. Okay so that's what it's going to look like. It's going to be just a loop with a little bit of a, we're going to just go ahead and put about a half inch tail on it. I'm going to take my pliers and put them through the flat side and I'm going to crimp it, just like that. So I end up a nice crimp and a sturdy connection. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the loop, I'm going to bring it through the add link and then I'm going to put the add link on the uh, eyelet that I just installed on the pole. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this, I'll just slip that through, and then I'm going to just start twisting this down, and that will come down to where it's threaded, and then that will just thread right on and just finger tight that, and it's good to go. So there you have your first connection. On our corner post, we've got the eyelet screwed in both, both sides, and then we're gonna use the spring they sent, and we're guessing that's for, if it blows, it'll give it a little bit of, little bit of uh, give in it, instead of just being uh, really solid on the cable. And then what we're gonna use is this other uh, uh, clip that they sent along with us. Now this other clip, it has a little hole right down here and then a port on the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the cable um, we're going to give us plenty to work with because we have 130 feet, and we've got, so we've got plenty. We're going to insert that into the hole. That'll come out this hole, and once there's back tension on this, it'll actually grab onto the cable and hold it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take my tin snips. I'm going to try to cut this as clean as possible. Okay, so plan B, these are just uh, standard wire strippers. Um, and they cut awesome. Oh my gosh. Save the day. So now we just insert that, and that comes out the little bitty hole. And I'm gonna take this up and put it in the eyelet, and then I'm gonna pull on this and get all the tension out of it. Okay, so now that we get it up here, I got my spring. I'm gonna go ahead and put my clip into that, and I'm gonna start pulling my cable until it's tight. Okay, cool. Okay, now I'm going to take my little clippers and I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess on that. I'm going to leave, I'm actually going to leave uh, almost two inches. And that's it, on to the next. Okay, the wires are up and this tool was key to clipping the, uh, clipping the cable to get everything to work right. So it was actually super simple, um, actually took no time at all. And so we're ready to string some lights. Okay, so it's, Time to string the lights. What our plan is, um, we, I have the cable loops, the, the uh, Adalink. I'm gonna take that first one, I'm gonna zip tie this to it, and then I'm gonna zip tie along until we use up all of our cable. So it should be a pretty easy process, I hope. And we're gonna have some lights. So I was gonna uh, tie wrap these to this first cable, but I actually don't think my tie wraps are gonna be strong enough. So I'm actually going to use some of the eyelets and the cable that they sent and use the cable as, a, as the end support. And I think it should work out pretty good. 
So we'll give it a shot here. panic moment we plugged him in and nothing happened um, realizing you really have to screw them fully in uh, for the bulbs to turn on but uh, that is working and it's looking cool we were struggling to get these lights put up with the zip ties and after a little bit of thought and uh, we came up with a whole lot better way it's a uh, they're hog rings uh, we've had these for years we uh, when we do uh, uh, reupholstery jobs uh, for our stuff, that uh, we use these hog rings to, uh, to hook into the fabric and stretch them and uh, connect them onto the frame. So this actually worked out super good. This is a hog ring, and what you have a, a hog ring pliers, these are specially made for the hog rings. So you, you take that, you clamp it into the hog ring, so and you just hold that. And there's a, usually a spring on here that kind of springs back, but I took that off. And then what you're gonna do, there's a hold on the lights. I'm gonna take that, Put that right in the hole, put the, uh, the cable on the other side, squeeze, and you got a permanent connection. All right, the lights are all up, and it just absolutely turned out remarkable. Um, it's just made a big transformation on the backyard, and it's just uh, something we're just really proud of and be uh, proud of have people over to our backyard. So I uh, hope you liked the video. If you uh, would like it, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate you watching, and thanks for watching DIY on the house.